Interact is a um, it's a global international trial and it's trying to establish a standard of care for patients who have got um, uh, advanced anal cancer. Um, now, anal cancers are not common cancers. Uh, they are uncommon and advanced anal cancer is a further rare form of um, anal cancer because majority of patients who have anal cancer they present in an early stage and they and majority of them are cured by chemo radiotherapy for example only a small proportion of these patients would have more advanced disease down the track worldwide incidence of um, anal cancer is um, around, you know it's increasing um, and i think it accounts for roughly 1-2% to 2 of all gastrointestinal cancers um, and, uh, and in about 10-20% to 20 of patients uh, who um, are initially diagnosed with anal cancer, they would have further advanced disease. I've been working in gastrointestinal cancers for many years now um, and I think right from the beginning um, when I was in, as a resident um, oncology trainee, um, I had looked after, um, you know, uh, GI cancers because I was in a unit which was looking after a lot of GI cancers and that's where my interest started. Um, again, one of the reasons I um, wrote the grant process in the beginning in the UK was uh, because there was no standard treatment for this particular type of disease. So there was a, a clinical equipoise and a clinical need for, for researchers or for clinicians to to have um, a treatment option which could be considered as standard of care. So we were recommending treatment which didn't have any robust evidence behind it. And one of the reasons why we didn't have this is because it's a rare cancer. So unless we decided to do a global cooperative collaborative study, there would be no way we could have a standard of care. So I think that challenge to, to actually design a trial, that challenge um, to actually be able to conduct a trial of this magnitude across 50 centers around the world, um, I think motivated me. We can, we can recommend one chemotherapy regimen or the other, but we just don't know which one of these regimens are better, not just because which one's more efficacious, but also which one's associated with a better quality of life, for example. Which chemotherapy regimen has a lesser toxicity rate, for example. Because all these things matter for patients when they are embarking on, let's say, palliative chemotherapy for an advanced disease. Our biggest challenge for this trial would be recruitment. Um, and I think that could only come about if physicians are mindful of these patients and consider sending these patients to the trial units which, are, which is doing Interact currently. It's a unique trial because it's being run within cooperative groups across the world. We don't have funding for this study. So to be able to do a trial which is non-pharma, for example, you know, across 50 centers around the world is what is unique. And we are still able to do the study we're still able to collect tissue and um, you know blood samples, for example, and then do biomarkers. So this particular study would is going to to produce a lot of information which we practically didn't have until now.